I'd like to introduce to you the new fourth generation C300 Sport. Um, we'll talk about styling first. Uh, the Mercedes-Benz C300 Sport um, starts with the uh, star in the grill, the three-point star, which um, brings you to the prestige that you know and expect from a Mercedes-Benz vehicle. Um, and then we'll start with some things that you may not know about the vehicle. All the way to the rear, the styling uh, of the vehicle has been well thought out, lengthened and largened. Um, the uh, wheelbase has been enlarged as well. That creates better driving dynamics, um, better stability, and it uh, takes the curves on the roads a lot better. The um, on the vehicle starts from the front with, like I said, the, the star in the grill and the lower um, cage in the front. The fog lamps that stick out with the chrome approach here makes it look a little bit more sporty and aggressive. If we step around to the side, you'll notice the optional AMG wheels, they're 18 inches, um, and they're more of a sport approach to a wheel. It's going to give you a lot better handling your side here, where you see the sport skirting on the, on the sides, gives it uh, a lower effect. It's a little bit more sporty. Um, and again, the same aerodynamic approach on the sides here, which just trail the wind around the car and force it back to the sides. The tail lights wrap around to the edges, elongating the side of the car and making it more safe for people approaching from the front, from the front, um, the side, or from the rear. The same with the rear, with the dual exhaust, gives it a much sportier look. The, the back has dropped down a little bit. The base has been widened, and the car has just been made to be bigger. Uh, the outside is larger as well as the interior for more comfort. On safety of the Mercedes-Benz C300 Sport, um, we'll start off with the wide and well base. Um, it's made a bit wider to keep you more stable on the road. Also, the vehicle's frame is made of high strength and ultra high strength steel, which mimics the nearly indestructible uh, image of a NASCAR roll cage, keep you very safe. Also, underneath the hood, um, we have um, several crumple zones that are going to repel the engine from ever coming into the cabin of the vehicle, keeping all five passengers safe. Um, inside the vehicle, uh, there are six airbags. Um, they have an um, occupan uh, uh, occupancy weight um, measure on them, so you can adjust uh, the the air is adjusted in the airbags, um, and it's, it goes off of a weight limiter in the seats to see, you know, if there's a child sitting in the front seat, it may not open up at all, or it could, uh, but it might just open a little smaller than, say, a full-size adult sitting in the front seat here. The same thing for the rear passengers, those rear curtain airbags for the passenger, or for the back seat passengers, um, as well as the head restraints. Notice how there are five head restraints in the vehicle, one for each seat's seating, um, uh, each passenger seat, and then the active head restraints in the front of the vehicle. These are going to pop up to hold the rear um, headrest closer to the head in uh, a collision. Onto the interior of the C-Class. It's all been redesigned and polished. Has a very aggressive look to it right from the beginning um, with the brushed aluminum trim here. Um, and we move up here to the new hidden entertainment system. Um, it's streamlined in the dashboard so your eyes aren't drawn away from the road. It's just right beneath your line of vision which keeps your peripheral well so it's very safe, the placement of the vehicle. Um, on the inside, there is many options, um, all the way from tele-aid, which is your onboard concierge, um, with an SOS button for safety, um, to satellite radio by Sirius integrated. Uh, Bluetooth is standard Bluetooth integration in the vehicle, a six disc changer, a PCMIA slot for extra memory in the car. The vehicle also comes with an optional um, uh, memory retention so if you have CDs that you like but you don't want to keep them in your six disc changer to take up some of the capacity you can just burn them right onto the, the car's actual memory onto the car's drive um, inside of the glove box we have an optional um, you have the option of integrating uh, the iPod integration here and you also have a cooler 
in the glove box for transporting um, a bottle of wine. Everything you love to expect in a Mercedes. <laughs> um, also on the interior, we have um, definitely much more room than you had in the last one. Um, as you can notice in the back seat, there's much more leg room. The seats have been slanted back a little bit, so you have a lot more um, head space in the rear than in the uh, predecessor. And the sport seats have been become more functional. They're larger, um, the, the backs are higher, they're wider. They're mo much more comfortable for all five passengers. Now let's get under the hood. First, we're starting with a very heavy um, hood here that has everything to do with what I was talking about before with the, the crumple zones and the weight that's going to keep uh, the high strength steel that's going to keep all of this out of the com inside compartment had there be a crash situation. Um, and then ease for the technicians here. This hood actually stretches all the way up. So it's easy to get to any part in the vehicle when you do have your service checks. Um, we'll start under here with the V6 engine, a six cylinder Mercedes Benz engine. It, um, it takes you up to 228 horsepower at 20, uh, 221 pound foot of torque. Um, it will go 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Um, so it's very fast, the sport aggression you'd expect from a Mercedes Benz Sport sedan. Uh, mobile One technology, this uses a Mobile One uh, oil. Uh, the oil changes are only necessary about once every 10,000 miles or once per year, so it reduces the time that you have to bring the car into the shop. You're, you're virtually here about one time per year, which is really great. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, uh, I'm going to show you how much trunk space there is in the C300 Sport. I'm going to pop it open with the key right there, which makes it very accessible if you're ever approaching the car and you have a baby in your hands or groceries or bags. You can just go ahead and pop it right open. Notice how large the, the trunk is. Um, you have brought a golf bag here just so you can see. You can fit about three golf bags in, in the C class. Press this to the back. Get about two more up front here. So lots of room. I do lots of shopping. Get that back out. And then you also have a full size spare right here under the bottom. Full size spare. Um, you never need to change it yourself though because when you do own a Mercedes Benz, you have roadside assistance for free for the life of ownership. So they all come out um, any time of, of day or night, 365 days a year, and they'll change a spare for you. They will jump start your car if for some reason the battery were to die. Um, they'll get you into your vehicle, get you enough gas to get to a gas station have you, you know, if you ever run out of gas or anything like that. So have your Mercedes Benz first aid kit, as well as your fuse box in the back. Um, the lip of the, the new C300 Sport has been lowered for the ease of putting in and taking out any cargo into the back. So it's at a nice low level, so no matter what height you are, you can um, just slide anything that you need to get in or out of the vehicle. And you have a little handle here. Pull it down. Owning a C300 is not as hard as you think. Um, the car has been priced very aggressively. It is our entry level sedan, um, so uh, it's you know accessible for almost every uh, income bracket. Uh, you, there are lease specials available and finance specials available that will customize to you. Uh, so we'd like to get everybody in the Mercedes-Benz family, um, starting with the Mercedes-Benz C300 Sport. Uh, the cost of ownership after you do purchase the car is also very low. Um, these cars typically are only serviced one time per year, once every 10,000 miles, um, and that includes your oil change under the manufacturer's warranty. Everything from the bump, front bumper to the rear bumper of the vehicle is covered. That excludes your normal wear and tear. So the only thing that you're uh, ultimately responsible for are brake pads, oil changes, windshield wipers, the little stuff. Uh, it's very inexpensive to own this Mercedes-Benz. Ready to come take this new Mercedes-Benz out for a test drive? Um, you can come see us here. My name is Emily. We're at Mercedes-Benz in Buckhead. We're the only dealership within the perimeter here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, you can also visit our website to see all of our new and pre-owned inventory at mercedesofbuckhead.com.